Big Z Reviews. Riders of Justice, or Retferdigens Rittery, is um, a new kind of revenge action comedy thriller starring Mads Mikkelsen. And I absolutely loved it. It's a really interesting and different take on this genre. Yeah, Markus Hansen. My name is Otto Hoffmann, and it's Lennart. I was with the same tow as your wife's daughter. What are they? I think it's a problem to know that it's not a failure. Why do you say that it's not a failure? Him here. But he's going to get out of the station a second before the failure is going to be. To Kurt Tandem Olesen, who is the president of the rock group Riders of Justice. So this was uh, directed by uh, Anders Thomas Jensen, and it is in a foreign language with subtitles. I think it's Norwegian or something like that. But it has a, such a weird cast of characters. At the beginning of the film, uh, Mads Mikkelsen is a soldier. And essentially, he's off somewhere. It looks like maybe Middle East somewhere. And uh, his family is at home, and... Uh, the daughter, her bike was stolen, so she can't uh, ride to school. And then they um, they go to the mother goes to start the car to take her to drive her to school, and the car won't start. So essentially, they decide to go on a trade ride into the city instead. They take a day off of school, and on that train ride, they meet uh, Otto uh, Nicholas Lee Kaus, um, like and. Essentially, he he had just been fired. He's like a genius geek kinda, and he but he was fired by a company because he was more he was he wasn't as focused as on money as he should have been. Instead, of focused on the science. But but you know he had the he 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 uh he sit down on on the train, but he leaves his seat for the mother to sit down, and then there's an accident, and essentially the whole side of that train, everyone on it is pretty much killed. And this, this stuff because like one of the persons that was also killed was this um, this uh, this guy that was about to testify against this these gangsters called the the Riders of Justice, and they're really bad guys. And like essentially, that uh, Otto thinks that this was not an accident. The idea that this would happen and would happen to this witness about to pro about to testify. And, and there's also some weird guy that left, that threw out um, a, a full drink and a sandwich and exited the train right before the accident. He thinks that this was a terrorist attack. This was an attack designed to kill this guy. It was not an accident. And he tells Mads Mikkelsen this, and that starts a journey of revenge. My favorite part of this, though, is that how it's kind of like a breakdown of that genre. You know, of like Taken or other movies that... You have, like, a father figure that goes on revenge or tries to save the daughter. You know, that, the kind of, like, I call it, like, the divorced dad cinema. Like, a lot of those, a lot of the stories revolve around that. So it's kind of like a, uh, like, they play on it. But there's, like, the cast of characters that's so interesting. Like, you have Mads Mikkelsen as Marcus, uh, Nicolaj Likas as Otto, you know, the daughter, Andrea Heck Gadeberg as Matilda, then uh, Lars Brigman as Lennart and uh, Nicholas Bro as Emmenthaler, and also Gustav Lind as Budashka. Like there's, they're they're all damaged people, and they're they don't look like you know action stars or like like um, movie stars. The only one that looks like a movie star is Mads Mikkelsen, and they try to ugly him up a little bit by giving him a beard and stuff, and but they like like they're all damaged, but they they all get together. And they in in his barn, and the one guy is just like, "Oh, this is a beautiful barn. What um, what year was this built?" And it's so focused on the barn, it's just like so funny, but then also tragic because he find out that he was abused in a barn as a child repeatedly, and it's like, but like that, but like, now he kind of like he had a focus and kind of loved barns, but that's kind of what he's taken from it. That's but like, and there's this weird thing, but like, but essentially the daughter comes in on these on his, her dad and these three random guys that, like, planning this revenge to take down the Riders of Justice. And she's like, are you guys the therapists? And it's like, uh, yes, we are the therapists. And they, like, but the one that kind of has experience with therapy, he's been, had, he's gone through therapy his entire life, so he tries to help her as a therapist, but it's, it's, it provides for some hijinks. 
but it's also emotional. Like they're all damaged, but I'm like, but they're also they're so funny. Like they all have like they're like one they're great hackers or they're great scientists or they're great like they're they're geniuses, but they're damaged. And Mads Mikkelsen is the freaking badass. But like when when the killing starts, like I he he is really good. Like I love how they do it. Like with the scene that he's just precision murder he murders with precision and i it's, there's so many cool scenes with that there's, there's a great scene like it's funny too essentially he's trying to teach them so that he can they can also help like shoot everyone so he can get some guns and show them how to use them and it's like the one guy is this have never touched a gun and even Soller, but like he's like um he knows he li he likes putting things together and then he's just like bloop, 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 done <laughs> it's just like but that that will play and like things will happen later that will play into and I just, I so many things about it are so interesting and it's so different. It's not like a normal film and I, I love that about it. Like I would highly recommend it. Like the only the only reason I know about this is because like the film Twitter, like some like directors and writers and stuff I follow on Twitter were were raving about it. That one one that one director said that he actually saw it, watched it twice in the weekend in last week because they loved it so much. And I, I, I can see why, because it's, it's very interesting and very different. And there's a lot here that I, I really appreciate about it. Like, it, it's, it's Ride of the Justice is a really interesting film and a really different take on it. And, like, it's not just about revenge, too. It's about how some things are just random in life. You know, that, that like, they, 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 a lot of characters are focused on how, like, the daughter especially is focused on how so many things led to the mother dying. Like, if any of them would have been different, you know, I, 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 she'd be still alive. Like, you know, there's so many interesting things about how whether it's all just random. And, and I love because, like, the Ride of the Justice, like, they have no idea what's going on because, like, they don't know, Matt, they didn't try to kill Matt Mickelson's wife. You know, that's just kind of random. But they, um, like, at one point, the leader of the Ride of the Justice is like, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> but, like, they're evil people, you know? But uh, I love so many of the scenes like that are just great, and I loved. I'd probably give this film, like, a 9 out of 10. I definitely recommend it. I think it's, like, I think it's, it's available, like, on demand. Like, I'm not sure, I don't think anything is streaming like, anywhere yet. It's just on demand, I believe. But if you can find it, it's, I definitely recommend it. Uh, but, again, like, 9 out of 10, I'd say I'd give it. But uh, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks. Thank you.